Hi, it's Katrina. From a clever octopus that made its way back to the ocean to a rhino running across a highway, here are 10 stories of animals that escaped from the zoo. Number 10. Inky the Octopus it might sound like an escape right out of a Disney movie, but when an octopus at New Zealand's National Aquarium made a break for freedom, it showed the reality of what an octopus is capable of. Sometimes Disney is based on reality. Known as Inky, the male common New Zealand octopus escaped his enclosure after moving the entire lid. Somehow in the middle of the night, he was able to push it aside, making a small opening where he slipped through, dropped to the floor, and crawled across to a drain hole where he squeezed his body through the pipe that led to open waters. He did it! The manager of the National Aquarium noticed the disappearance, but it took a little detective work to figure out what happened to Inky. After following a wet trail the octopus left behind, they realized that Inky had planned quite the great escape. Inky had been donated to the aquarium in 2014 by fishermen who caught him on a reef. He was pretty scarred from fighting fish, but quickly became a favorite with staff because of his curious nature. The manager of the aquarium said that he didn't think that Inky was unhappy or lonely, since they are solitary creatures, but that his personality was just extremely curious. He is still at large. Anyone who has worked with octopuses is not surprised. Octopuses are great escape artists and can get through openings the size of a dime. Another octopus from Bermuda kept escaping his tank to eat the fish out of other tanks nearby. They know what's going on around them and can recognize individual faces. There are no plans to replace Inky, but staff have said that they hope he does well in his new life back in the ocean. Number 9. Mischievous Orangutan An orangutan named Ken Allen from the San Diego Zoo had a curious and mischievous nature even as a baby. They say that he had a twinkle in his eye from the get-go. At an early age, he was able to unscrew nuts and bolts and remove the metal mesh on his supposedly child-proof enclosure. Funnier still is the fact that by the time morning came around, he would put the playpen back together so his keepers wouldn't know that he had escaped. He did it several times before he was caught. As he grew into childhood and his escapades escalated, staff nicknamed him Harry Houdini. Get it? Because he has lots of hair. In the 1980s, he developed quite the reputation for escaping the orangutan habitat several times, even teaching another orangutan how to use a branch like a crowbar to get out. Even though staff studied the enclosure to see how he did it, on a couple locations he stumped them with his escape. He was never a threatening animal, treating the escapades as more of a game and sitting at the edge of the exhibit after an escape to wait for keepers to let him back in. Ken Allen's popularity eventually grew, with him soon becoming a local folk hero with a fan club and t-shirts to honor the mischievous red ape. Number 8. Guest Tiger This story is kind of the opposite. A Bengal tiger actually walked into a zoo in India. Local residents were in a panic when a Bengal tiger was spotted roaming around the outskirts of a city in India. However, the tiger wasn't an escapee from the local zoo. Instead, the male wild tiger walked into the zoo from a nearby forest and made his way to the tigress habitat. She'd probably been giving off some signals. Estimated to be about seven years old, the tiger had been spotted a number of times in the months leading up to his arrival. Cited by zoo officials on CCTV footage, the tiger was first spotted resting near a swamp at a 12-acre forest near the zoo. After keeping a watch on the tiger and opening the emergency gate, the tiger ended up walking into the safari. It slowly started moving closer to the enclosure of Tigris Sara, probably due to the laws of attraction. Local wildlife officials are mandated to release tigers and later plan to release the tiger back into the wild. Surprisingly enough, this wasn't the first time a tiger had walked into the same zoo. In 1967, a tigress entered the premises and ended up staying there. With less than 2,500 Bengal tigers remaining in the world, it makes sense that zoos and animal rescues would do everything they can to protect the endangered species. Number 7. Bronx Zoo Cobra This escape from the Bronx Zoo hit the headlines and went viral. A cobra that escaped from its cage in 2011 became famous when she escaped from her enclosure one Friday night. Somehow, the snake, an Egyptian cobra, made it out of its fiberglass box in the reptile house. Spotted coiled in a corner six days after it escaped, the 20-inch long venomous snake didn't go very far. After all, it's a scary place out there, especially for a snake in New York. Luckily for not only staff but visitors to the Bronx Zoo, the snake was found and returned to its cage after getting a clean bill of health. 
Egyptian cobras can be deadly with their bite shutting down human respiratory systems if left untreated. Generally secretive and shy, snakes tend to avoid people, but luckily she didn't bite anyone, and staff at the Bronx Zoo were able to retrieve her before anything bad happened. But not before someone with a good sense of humor created a fake Twitter account chronicling the snake's made-up misadventures. With over 200,000 followers during her vanishing act, the Bronx Zoo snake ended up becoming a world-famous internet sensation. And now for a big cat that kind of lost it. But first, want to give a big thank you to Abdul Haki Magandia and Nelson Reddy for their nice comments and support. Really appreciate it, you guys. Be sure to click that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on the latest videos. Number 6. Jaguar Rampage In 2018, a young male jaguar at the Audubon Zoo in New Orleans got out of its enclosure one night and went on a rampage, attacking a number of animals. It must have had some pent-up anger. The three-year-old cat named Valerio was first reported missing right before the zoo opened. An hour later, the jaguar was located, tranquilized, and returned to its enclosure. But by then, four alpacas, one fox, and an emu were dead, and several other animals were injured. A day later, another fox and a fifth alpaca also died from their injuries. Jeez, who knew a jaguar could do all of this in an hour? After determining that keeper error did not contribute to the escaped jaguar, it was later found that the roof over the jaguar enclosure had been compromised. Zoo officials believe that the cat did not eat the animals and instead went after them as a way of showing he had control over his territory. He was able to access the animals in their enclosures, making it impossible for them to escape. They were just sitting ducks. Good thing there weren't any people around. Although it is a sad event, the young male jaguar was doing what jaguars normally do, with his behavior not that out of the ordinary for an apex predator. An opportunistic hunter, jaguars prey on more than 85 species, with lions and tigers the only cats that are bigger than them. Seen as one of the worst attacks in the zoo's history, zoo officials reassured the public that the Audubon Zoo was still safe and will continue to delight visitors for years to come. Number 5. Running Rhinos in 2015 in Israel, a trio of rhinos made a break for it when they snuck out of an open side gate. Located at Ramat Gan Safari Park, apparently the guard fell asleep and they took advantage, trotting happily out to the parking lot. Shocked visitors at the zoo called the police. The footage was captured by CCTV footage. Luckily, no rhino or person was harmed during this little escapade, and a zoo manager was able to run out and somehow lead them back to their pen. The guard was apparently fired. This isn't the first time a rhinoceros has escaped from a zoo. Sadly, a rare white rhinoceros broke out of its enclosure and crossed an entire highway. This happened in 1996 in Louisiana, when the rhino apparently fought with another rhino and broke through a welded pipe fence. A deputy spotted the rhino crossing highway US 90 shortly before 4 a.m., and the authorities surrounded the rhino after daybreak. Veterinarians arrived with tranquilizer guns and a rifle. The rhino bolted back across the highway to the zoo, and unfortunately the veterinarians had to use the rifle. It never made it back inside. There are about 20,000 white rhinos remaining in the wild. Number 4. Lion on the Loose In 2016, a lion escaped from Nairobi's National Park, located about 4 miles from the city center. The park is home to a variety of large predators, including lions, leopards, hyenas, and cheetahs. It is a wide open space protected by electric fencing in an attempt to keep the animals inside. But when they get really hungry, sometimes they escape. The lion made its way to the road and started wandering around in traffic. People started honking and taking selfies, which made the lion get agitated. It then attacked a man who was taken to the hospital. Luckily, the Kenya Wildlife Service was able to rescue the lion and take it back to the park. In 2019, it happened again, and people reported seeing a lion on the loose. The Kenya Wildlife Service urged residents to not walk around at night until it was captured. Locals complain about the lions attacking their livestock, but there are not really that many places for them to go as their habitat continues to shrink. Number 3. Escaped Capybaras At the High Park Zoo in downtown Toronto, Canada, a pair of capybaras managed to escape and go for a stroll. The two rodents, nicknamed Bonnie and Clyde, are similar in size to dogs and are native to South America. They broke out on their first morning at the zoo when the door on their cage didn't close properly. The rebellious duo stayed on the loose for almost three weeks. But the funny thing is that they didn't exactly get that far. In fact, they were spotted multiple times. One of them was seen by news cameras going for a swim in a nearby pond. Capybaras are the largest living rodent in the world and are closely related to the guinea pig. 
They are not a threat to humans, but still, it's not good to have non-native species on the loose, and you want to make sure the animals stay healthy. Zoo officials tried to lure the rodents back by playing capybara calls over a loudspeaker, but the animals didn't take the bait. After using corn and fruit to try to lure them back, one of them was caught and the other one shortly after. Now they have retired to live the quiet life. Number 2. Monkeying Around In 2013, a zoo in England was put into lockdown after some of the animals got into the wrong enclosure. Early one morning, workers at the zoo contacted the local police to let them know that some chimpanzees were being moved from one building to another and in the process got out of control. They didn't physically escape the zoo, but workers were taking precautions after the animals got into a secure service area within the enclosure. The public wasn't at risk at the time, but the chimps managed to get into service corridors within the main building, running up and down, opening and closing cupboards for about an hour before staff were able to corral them back to their enclosure with ice cream and fizzy drinks. This incident went a little better than one in 2019 when a group of chimpanzees were able to escape their enclosure in the Belfast Zoo. Taking advantage of damage caused by stormy weather, a number of chimps used a branch to escape, with visitors seeing some of the chimps emerge from the bushes while others sat on top of the enclosure wall watching. With some of the trees in their enclosure weakened by storms, the chimps used them as a ladder. Luckily, the chimpanzees knew that they were not supposed to be out of their enclosure and ended up going back inside by themselves. An incident at the same zoo happened a month earlier, when a red panda cub escaped from its enclosure and was found in a garden a mile from the zoo. Number 1. Zoo Flood When a series of deadly floods hit the country of Georgia, residents were warned by special forces that a number of dangerous animals had escaped the local zoo. Everyone was told to stay indoors until the lions, tigers, and bears were recaptured. The surging flood water from a normally calm river destroyed enclosures at the zoo, allowing some animals to escape. Special forces were brought in to control the situation and a helicopter circled the city to get a bird's eye view of the dangerous flooding. A hippopotamus was cornered in one of the city's main squares and subdued with a tranquilizer gun. Lions, hyena, and a wolf all drowned in the floods and six wolves were killed in a hospital yard. Unfortunately, many of the animals were later taken down by special forces, with the flooding damaging not only the zoo, but dozens of houses and local streets and they couldn't navigate safely. Locals complained that some authorities used unnecessary force, with some of the most beloved animals from the zoo ending up as casualties of the incident. With an estimated damage bill of $20 million, one could argue that the cost was much more than a financial one. Thanks for watching! Next time you're out and about, if you think you see an animal you shouldn't, it just might have escaped from the zoo. Be sure to subscribe if you are new here, and I'll see you next time! Bye!